Hi everyone. So it's been about two and a half weeks since we planted our pepper seeds in the actually red solo cup. Don't recommend it. Poor drainage. But anyway, that's what we had handy. Um, but they've developed uh, several true leaves, so we're going to get those planted now. Um, so really all you need is a decent sized pot so you have some good root structure when the plant grows larger. Um, get a good potting mix that's got a well-balanced fertilizer. Later on, um, you don't want as high of nitrogen, but we'll get into that in a minute. So anyway, we're going to get these guys out of here. Squeeze the cup a little bit. And ideally, when you grow these, you should just have one in each one. I'm at, I was getting a little bit greedy and tried to do two. Now we have to pull the roots apart. As time for these to come out, they're getting a little bit stressed. The leaves aren't quite as green as what I wanted. Showing a little bit of yellow. So we're just going to gently pull that guy apart. We'll put him back in there. This guy has a lot of roots already, just in two and a half weeks. So we're going to get this down in here. We'll plant it about the same level that it was, maybe just a hair deeper. Then, <clears throat> pretty dusty. Once this gets planted, um, you want to keep it fairly moist. Not wringing wet, but you want it moist so that uh, you're going to get good growth in the plant there. You don't want to stress it too much, especially at the beginning. Maybe later on you want to stress the plant because with peppers, the more you stress them, the hotter it tends to be. So like I was saying, if you do want a pepper that's um, a little bit spicier hot, then you want to stress that. Don't water as much. Um, stress a little bit as far as giving it the adequate fertilizer. Let it um, stay on the plant a little bit longer. When you grow a pepper, a hot pepper like jalapeno or any of the others, um, if you grow it fast, give it real good conditions, keep it moist the way that you really should take care of that plant, then you're going to get one that is still a good pepper, but it's not going to have that same heat that it would otherwise. Um, so anyway, we've got this plant in here. Um, so we're going to put this under our grow lights. Again, I've got T5 high output. Four bulbs, I keep this, try to keep it three or four inches while you get a little, any closer than that, you're gonna, you might burn some of the leaves. <clears throat> but you do want it as close as possible so you get the maximum amount of light. Um, again, the T5 high output, um, I'll generally put two cool bulbs or daylight bulbs um, somewhere in that area, usually like 6,500K. Um, and then I'll do a couple of the warm bulbs, 2,700 to 3,000K. Um, again, that helps the plant grow uh, as far as the bluish or daylight, that'll help it grow as far as the vegetative side of it, but then the red uh, stimulate the blossoming a little bit more. Um, so that's going to be under there for a good 14 hours a day or so. Um, but again, if you've got it by a window, um, you're just going to have to play it by ear, supplement as you need to, um, to keep the plant growing the way that it adequately should. Um, so then as far as how long it takes, probably about two and a half months, you're going to have some peppers on here. And again, this is a perennial. A lot of people think it's an annual. They throw it away at the end of the year and they're done with it. This you can keep in a pot, have a nice house plant. If you have good lighting, um, you can keep it going for years and years if you take care of it. As far as fertilizer, initially, yeah, higher nitrogen can be fine. I usually just go with the potting mix. That's good enough to go or good enough for the first two months or so. Um, and then you want to have a fertilizer that's lesser in nitrogen so you get more of the, the fruit growth, more of the uh, peppers growing. If you have too much nitrogen, you're going to have a beautiful plant, but not a lot of peppers. So go with one maybe that's like a 1 to 2 to 2 ratio, so like a 5-10-10 or something like that. Um, fertilize very lightly. Um, last month or so of the peppers, you probably don't even need to fertilize, especially if you want to get the heat up there a little bit more. At least that's what I've found. You may find scientifically that may, be, may not be right, but from my experience, that seems to be the way to go. Um, so again, keep it moist, give it lots of light, um, and you should do just fine. All right, guys, have a good one.